What is CETA? On both sides of the Atlantic, citizens are taking to the barricades against the planned trade and investment agreement TTIP, currently being negotiated by the European Union and the United States. However, only few will know that even before TTIP is finalized, the EU is hoping to conclude a similar agreement with Canada, CETA, the Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement. Negotiations have been underway since as far back as 2009. CETA is set to be concluded in September 2014, thereby paving the way for the controversial TTIP. In numerous respects, CETA and TTIP are two of a kind. Both agreements aim to grant significant new privileges to large corporations at the expense of ordinary citizens. This is achieved above all through rules on investor protection, the so-called investor state dispute settlement. These new regulations give foreign investors the power to sue states if their laws lead to a reduction in profits. Lawsuits based on ISDS contracts have already made it through the courts, with as many as 568 known cases worldwide. Two examples. In 2010, the tobacco company Philip Morris sued Uruguay for 2 billion US dollars in damages for a law designed to protect non-smokers. In 2012, the nuclear company Vattenfall sued Germany for 3.7 billion euros in damages for the government's decision to pursue a nuclear phase-out. These legal proceedings are negotiated before special arbitration tribunals that are not subject to public scrutiny. Here, it is not independent judges making the decisions, but private lawyers who earn large sums from the arbitration proceedings. If CETA enters into force, US companies with Canadian subsidiaries will also be able to sue European states, with expensive consequences for taxpayers. Even the threat of such lawsuits can mean that laws to protect consumers and the environment fail to become enacted at all. This represents a clear danger to democracy. CETA stipulates that the privatization of public services cannot be reversed. Municipalities or countries that nevertheless opt to take this course of action face the threat of expensive corporate lawsuits. Aided by such lawsuits, energy companies could succeed in pushing through controversial oil and gas fracking in Europe, as well as ensure continued sales in Europe of fuels that derive from oil sands. In Canada, whole regions are being devastated for the extraction of these particularly harmful fossil fuels. The EU hopes to close agreements similar to CETA not only with the United States, but also with Singapore, Vietnam, India, China and many other countries. The prescription throughout is the same mechanism that puts the interest of corporations over those of citizens. CETA is the first of these agreements to be put to a vote by governments and parliaments. If CETA is adopted, it will be almost impossible to stop TTIP and subsequent agreements. Please help to prevent CETA from becoming reality. Sign the appeal to stop CETA. www.campact.de slash CETA stoppen.